Um, today is my birthday, and I am down $275,000. It's the worst day I've ever had, basically, times three. I can't, it's ridiculous. Um, I hardly even know what to say other than this is so stupid. Um, even after doing this for as long as I've been trading, uh, I still underestimate the power of emotions. A day like today, which, um, you know, any other day, I probably would have walked away a lot sooner. But you know, today being my birthday, I want to finish green and feel good about myself. And uh, I was up nicely on the day. I then kind of, you know, I was chasing that big green day and went for that next big trade and boom, back to break even. Jumped in another stock real quick, was down 30 grand. Jumped in two others at the same time. That's a mistake. Hey traders, we all know Ross Cameron, and I hate to, I don't like to make trade to make videos about other traders, and I'm not bashing this guy at all. I, in fact, I really appreciate his transparency and his willingness to share his green days and his red days and his worst red days ever. I think that's great. And um, but I just want to say that th this is really to help new traders and not to not to criticize Ross. He knows what he's doing. He has a lot of other things going on that he makes money from. So, uh, you know, he can afford a loss like this for sure. But I think that, you know, especially being a that a lot of new traders follow Ross and try to emulate his style, which I don't think is a good idea. Uh, and, and that's for 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 one reason right there is because he, this guy doesn't need to make money day trading. You know he has so many other income streams that that uh, he makes money off of. But really the the main thing that I wanted to bring up here is that no matter how good you get at day trading, no matter how much money you've made, how long you've been doing it, all the experience you've acquired, that if you don't have a strict trading plan and strict rules to follow, you could end up you know with huge red days like this that really just do not need to happen and it doesn't matter that this guy you know makes all this money in other ways and uh you know it's, it's still green overall on the year i'm sure but um uh, but still why you know why should you be giving all this money back that you know you traded so hard for and all that so the argument that i'm making is that all you need is a simple trading plan and strict rules to follow you know he he told you right there that that he got caught up in his emotions he made a mistake and uh, yeah, it happens to all of us. But if you have a good trading plan and good rules in place, you will be able to avoid this stuff. You, you'll never, ever be able to control your emotions. You'll never, ever be able to exercise 100% discipline, no matter how much you practice. But if you have strict rules to follow and then you follow them, that's a much easier thing to develop. You can develop the discipline to follow your plan and your rules uh, pretty easily. But if you have that in place, then you will not suffer losses like this. And what I'm talking about is like here, for example, in my trading plan for this month, I came up with this at the end of January it, because I was having trouble following my plan and my strategy 100% of the time. I was doing it most of the time, but most of the time is not enough. You have to do it 100% of the time. Day trading does not have a big margin of error whatsoever. If you screw up, then you're going to eat it for that month for sure. So basically, I call a yellow trade whenever I break my trading plan or my strategy. If I take a trade that breaks that, that's a yellow trade. And the last few months, I've had a, you know a, a decent amount of yellow trades. So I said, you know what, enough is enough at the end of January. And I decided for the month of February, and I'm probably going to just continue this for the rest of my day trading career, because I think it's a great idea, is that if I make even one yellow trade, if I break my plan knowingly, or break my strategy knowingly, that I have to take the rest of the month off, the whole month. So even if it was the first day of February and I broke my plan, I don't get to trade again until March. And that's going to keep me from suffering huge losses. And, and that's basically the idea. And also keep me from, you know, heading down a slippery slope of, of bad habits and, and uh, not following my, my plan and my rules. The other very simple rule that everyone should have, I, I think, in their plan is that uh, the th three strikes you're out rule. This is a variation of it. I'm only giving myself three trades each day this month. But um, th but this is essentially a, a way another way of having the three strikes you're out uh, rule because with three trades a day I I only have a, a couple of possible outcomes either 
I don't take any trades and I don't, you know, gain or lose anything. Or I take up to three trades and either the last trade was a winner. I have to also stop at my first two R trade. So if my first trade wins, then I'm done for the day. But um, if let's say the first two fail, I can take a third trade. And if that third trade fails, I have to quit for the rest of the day. And that's it. And then that that keeps me from suffering, you know, massive losses. So. And, you know, again, I am no one to say, uh, you know, I'm a new guy around here. I'm no one to, to, to bash anyone like Ross Cameron. But I think that, you know, the whole idea for him making a video like this is for us to learn from his mistakes. So th this is just another example of, uh, you know, the way that we can improve ourselves based on what we see others do. And that's really all this is about. Uh, you know, I wish him the best and, and I hope he continues to... Uh, share his his trades his wins and losses because we're all learning from from them together so anyway hopefully this video was helpful and uh, hopefully i got the message across and i'm not trying to uh talk down ross cameron or any other trader we all have our own um ways and, and rules and all that kind of thing but this is my perspective on things and how we can continue to uh, be better traders take care